Hey there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make weapons in Roblox, like this sword I have right here. And if I go and I hit this guy with the sword, he's going to die. Watch. Oh, I missed him. Let me try again. This time, boom, he's dead. Alright, so we're going to learn how to make this weapon that's going to cause damage to another player. And it's going to come with an attack animation. Okay, so let's get started. Here we are inside Roblox Studio. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need to create a weapon. I'm going to go to my workspace and I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to add a tool. And now I'm going to click on the tool. I'm going to add a mesh part. Now I'm going to go to home. I'm going to click on the toolbox. And we're going to look for a mesh ID and a texture ID. So I'm going to go to my marketplace. I'm going to search for meshes and for the search I'm going to enter sword. We're going to make a sword. Hit enter. Let's pick this anime sword here so just right click on it. First thing we want is the mesh ID so we're going to copy mesh ID. Come back to my mesh part select that and I'm going to look for the mesh ID right click and Control V to paste into, hit enter. Next thing we're gonna need is the texture ID. So I'm going back to the anime sword again, right click, and I'm gonna copy texture ID. Come back over here. I'm gonna look for the texture ID, click on that, and paste into the URL, hit enter. Let's go ahead and close the toolbox now, and you can see we have a sword right here on the ground. Let me see, I'm going to turn off these clicks over here, come back over here, bring the sword here, and there's the sword. And now we're going to go and rename our mesh part to handle, because our tool is going to need to have a handle. So you must name this handle, and then we're going to rename our tool to new sword. And now let's go ahead and take your new sword and put it inside the starter pack. So now inside my starter pack, I have a bunch of tools and one of the tool is the new sword that we have just created. Let's now play and take a look. And I'm gonna equip with the new sword. You can see we, we need to make some adjustments here. So I'm going to go to the workspace. I'm going to expand my player and I'm going to look for the new sword, which is here. Select the new sword. Now go to the properties window. We're going to look for transform section, grip, position. Let's make some changes to it. So you're just going to play around until you find the position that you, you would like to have the, um, the, the position that you would like to hold the tool at, right? So let's play around with these numbers. I'm gonna change the zero here to one. Let's see what happened. And you can see it moves a little bit to, uh, to the, the right position. So let's make one more change to that. Instead of one, we, we wanna move it a little bit further. So we're gonna make it a two here. And there it goes. So the only thing left is I, I want to turn the sword, you know, right side, so it's facing up in the sky, right? So how about we make this uh, 90 degrees? Let's see what happened. Hit enter. No, that's not it. So let me change it back to zero. Um, how about we make this one 90 degrees? Whoops. Let me try that again. So I'm going to make this one 90 degrees and there it goes. That's how I want to hold my sword. So once you're happy with the position of the tool, we're going to right click on the tool and do a copy. Press stop here. We're going to go back to the starter pack, right click, paste into. And now this is my new tool here with the uh, adjusted position. So I want to keep that one. I want to remove the old tool that I had inside my starter pack. So I'm going to select the old tool, press delete, 
and it's gone. So now if you play again, when you equip the new sword, you can see I'm holding it correctly. The next step we want to do here is we want to add a script so that the tool can do damage to other players. Select our new sword and we're going to add a script. In your script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring my tool. My tool is the new sword and I have a function here, on touch function, so that when when the handle, the handle is my tool here, right? The handle is the, the whole sword. When the handle is touch, it's gonna call this function. This function is gonna check if the person touching the tool is the player, then it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna return. But if the person touching the tool is not the player, we're gonna check to see if the other object has a humanoid object. So if it has a humanoid object, then it's like a player or it's a bot, right? So if it is a player or a bot with a humanoid object, we're gonna change the health of that humanoid to zero, which gonna kill that bot or it's gonna kill that player. Let's now play and see if it works. I'm going to equip my new sword and I'm going to go and look for somebody to kill. Boom, that guy's dead. So it worked, the, the damage, it, the attack causes damage. The only thing we need now is to add an animation to this tool because this tool right now has no animation. So let's go back to studio and we're going to add the animation. We're now going to go back to the script and if you like, you can create your own animation and add to this, um, to, to this tool. But today I'm just going to make it simple. I'm going to use Roblox default slash animation. To use the Roblox default slash animation, we're going to enter the following lines. So here we're adding a uh, new activated event to the tool. Let me move this down. I like to keep everything in order so first we have the touch event and which connects to the touch function here and on the second line here we have the activated event of the tool so when the tool is activated it's gonna call the slash function and all this slash function is gonna do is gonna use the roblox default slash animation it creates a new object rename it to tool anim and then it adds a slash value to the tool anim and then puts it under the tool. And that's all you have to do to create a slash animation. Let's now play and take a look. I'm going to equip my sword. And now if I click, you can see I'm doing a slash animation. Let's go over there and we're going to click. Not close enough. Click again. Oh, I still missed him. One more time. Bam, he's dead. All right, so basically that's all you needed to do to create a weapon in Roblox. Now let's take a closer look at this slash animation in, in Roblox. So this is a default Roblox slash animation. And the way it works is it's listening for an object named tool anim with a value of slash when it sees that object it's gonna create a slash animation and it's gonna remove that object so let's say um, if I play right now and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna equip the sword right and I'm gonna go here we're gonna look for the sword where is it it's right here okay so you see I have a script and a handle Right, so if I click, I should see a new object in here called, what is it called? It's called tool anim. We should see that being created inside the tool, right? Here we go. Nothing. We don't see that new object in here because 
Roblox has the script, it's gonna listen for that object. When it sees that object, it's gonna remove it and it's gonna do the slash animation. So that's why you don't see that object in there. But say, if we go back here and ins instead of calling this tool anim, I'm gonna change it to something else like tool anim, right? Now play again. I'm gonna go here, new sort. I'm gonna open up my character. We're gonna look for the new sort, which is here. We're gonna open that up. So again, this has the script and the handle. And now I'm gonna click to see if we get the animation. We do not have an animation, but we do have a new object here called Stool Anim. If I click again, it's gonna add another one. So basically again, Roblox, whenever they see an object called Tool Anim, they're gonna remove it and they're gonna do the slash animation. And basically the slash animation is gonna work on any tool, it does not have to be a sword. So let's take for example, uh, I have a flashlight with the mesh part here. I'm gonna put a script inside that flashlight and basically my script is just gonna do the slash animation. Let's play and take a look. So now let's equip the flashlight mesh part here. All right, so I have a flashlight and if I click here, you see it does the slash animation. And it is a flashlight, it's not a, uh, a sword. Anyway, so I just wanna explain how that default Roblox slash animation works. And guys, this is how you make a tool, a weapon inside Roblox. Thank you all for watching and we will see you again soon. Take care.